Hi, this is Sheeta Hunter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a secure disk image. So what is a disk image? A disk image is a file that looks and functions like a disk. In this particular case, I'm going to create this disk image that I normally save inside my hard drive to store files that I want to keep secure for a while or indefinitely. So here we go. I've opened up Disk Utility. I'm going to go to the File menu and select New and select Blank Image. Then I'm going to get the box that asks me what options do I want to use. So first of all, let's name it. I'm going to name this Secure Files. I'm going to temporarily store this on my desktop. And again, I'm going to rename this Secure Files. I want the size of this disk image to be 100 megabytes. Again, I'm just using it to store files. I want the format to be OSX Extended Journaled. I will have encryption on this because I don't want anyone to be able to access this file uh, if I, by chance, um, am away from my computer, which I always password protect. But this is just an added level of security. So let's give it encryption and let's type in a password and verify that password. And let's choose OK or just choose. For partition, you want to select single partition GUI partition map. And for image format, you want to select read and read write disk image. Then I choose Save. Disk Utility will go through the process of creating this, this disk image, which I told it to save onto my desktop. So if you come over to the desktop, you'll see two things. You'll see one, this file with uh, this disk image with .dmg as an extension, and the opened disk image partition. So here it is, Secure Files. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to throw some files into it. Let's grab this file here and let's grab these two files here. So the whole reason for creating this disk image was to create a small storage device inside of my hard drive that is um, additionally secure. So I've copied these files into the disk image and I'm going to close that window and now I'm actually going to eject the secure files partition that I created. So let's eject it. Once it's ejected, the only thing that's remaining on my desktop is the .dmg file, the disk image itself. So in order to get back into it, if I double click on it, it brings up that password dialog box. Let's enter the password and only now can I open it and access the files that are in that secure files partition. So this is a nice way to create an additional layer of protection on your computer. This is Sheeta Hunter. I hope this was helpful. Until next time.